सो डियर स्टूडेंट्स लेटेस्ट कंटिन्यू आवर चैप्टर नंबर वन टू इंट्रोडक्शन इन लोअर एंड हायर प्लांट्स टिल नाउ वी हैव कंप्लीटेड पॉइंट स्टिल डबल फर्टिलाइजेशन एंड वी फॉर स्टार्टिंग आवर नेक्स्ट पॉइंट लेटेस्ट रिवाइज टेक अ क्विक लुक ऑन द डबल फर्टिलाइजेशन व्हाट वी स्टडीड इन डबल फर्टिलाइजेशन नाउ यू हैव स्टडीड इन दिस ओवरी इन साइड द ओवल हाउ द डबल फर्टिलाइजेशन टेक्स प्लेस So this middle one, it is a egg cell. One male gamete fuses here. So this is a male gamete, and this is a egg cell. It forms zygote. In the center. there is secondary nucleus one male gamete fuses here so male gamete and secondary nucleus now this it is a triploid fusion triploid fusion which forms primary endosperm nucleus and these are antipodals antipodals this is a chalaza or chalazal end complete figure i am not drawing only just to show you to take a revision we are doing this it is a microfiler end so this is double fertilization here two male gametes are fusing one with the egg to form a zygote and other with the secondary nucleus to form the triploid fusion that is a primary endosperm nucleus now we are going to study here post fertilization our today's point to study is post fertilization changes post fertilization means changes after fertilization changes after fertilization so what is the change here zygote is formed endosperm is formed we are going to study first endosperm because endosperm is one of the nutri nutritive tissue which provides nourishment to this developing zygote so we are going to first study endosperm so development of endosperm it is a nutritive tissue a nutritive tissue for nourishment for nourishment of developing embryo the zygote further develops into embryo and endosperm provides nourishment to the tissue oh sorry and uh, endosperm provides nourishment to this embryo now this endosperm it is the product of second fertilization product of second fertilization is endosperm means primary 
endosperm nucleus and we also call it as pen this pen which is the second fertilization product it develops into or the pen develops develops into endosperm it is also a triploid tissue triploid tissue because this secondary nucleus is diploid and one male gamete so it becomes triploid tissue then based on presence or absence of endosperm there are two types of seeds and which are they in some cases endosperm is totally consumed it is totally utilized during embryo development during embryo development so the mature seed has the mature seed do not possess endosperm means endosperm is totally utilized totally consumed so when the seed develops there is no endosperm it does not possess a endosperm and such as seeds are called as seeds are called non endospermic seeds non endospermic seeds or x albuminous seeds means no endosperm so they are called non endospermic example of these seeds p bean gram p means in marathi what are now bean gheda gram means harbara so all pulses are included then groundnut is there so all these seeds they are without endosperm now in some cases the endosperm persists the endosperm persists in mature seeds and it continues to support growth of embryo means endosperm is there it is supporting the growth of the embryo during seed germination during seed germination so such a seeds are called endospermic or albuminous seeds now example of this seeds is 
कैस्टर सनफ्लावर कोकोनट सो ऑल दिस कम इन द इंडोस्पर्मिक सीड्स ऑल्सो सीरल्स लाइक मेज वीट एक्सेट्रा सो मोस्टली मेनी ऑफ द सीरल्स आर इंडोस्पर्मिक सीड्स now we will see depending upon the mode of development there are three types of endosperms these are the types of the seeds the seeds which have endos which have endosperm are called endospermic or albuminous seeds and those which do not have endosperms are called non endospermic or exalbuminous seeds to see types of endosperms types of endosperms based on more of development based on more of development so let us see which are the three types so one is nuclear endosperm second is cellular endosperm third is helobial endosperm so what happens in nuclear endosperm or how it is formed that we will see now so suppose this is our ovary now we have studied that in center one secondary nucleus is there that secondary nucleus is dividing the primary endosperm nucleus which is formed by the fertilization of secondary nucleus and male gamete it undergoes free nuclear division means this central pen it free nuclear means only nuclear division is there that is karyokinesis is there and no cytokinesis means the cytoplasm does not divide and it forms many nuclei which move to the wall this is cytoplasm so here pen undergoes pen means primary endosperm nucleus undergoes free nuclear divisions now when the nucleus divides it is called as karyokinesis we have seen in mitosis there are two stages that is karyokinesis and cytokinesis so when a cell is dividing so here only nucleus is dividing no cytoplasmic division so only karyokinesis there or karyokinesis that is nuclear divisions 
not followed by cytokinesis so this is one endosperm in which only the nucleus is divided then this division it results in formation of it results in formation of large number of triploid nuclei because here the middle cell which is formed by fertilization of secondary nucleus and male gamete is a triploid one so when the nucleus is dividing that time they are also triploid and so large number of triploid nuclei are formed and they are freely suspended in freely suspended in common cytoplasm so that is the cytoplasm in which the triploid nuclei are suspended of central cell of central cell so this is a central cell where the all triploid nuclei are distributed and then the wall formation takes place later on wall formation occurs around these nuclei in centripetal manner centripetal manner to form cellular mass to form the cellular mass means first what happens the nucleus are divided and then the walls are developed around it around the nucleus now this you can see example for this is coconut coconut water is free nuclear and white kernel and white kernel is cellular endosperm and this nuclear endosperm it is most common type mostly we can see nuclear endosperm development most common type of endosperm so in this way the nuclear endosperm is formed so which are the points we have studied here karyokinesis then formation of large number of triploid nuclei then the wall formation occurs in the centripetal manner and example is coconut water and white kernel so this is the nuclear endosperm now we are going to study cellular endosperm now from the name itself you are understanding that the cell develops here the central cell that is the pen it forms this is the figure for this i will try to draw fast bit
so inside it again there is nucleus in each cell time consuming figure i will draw fast okay so here what we have completed figure of cellular endosperm now let us see what happens in this pen that is the primary endosperm nucleus undergoes nuclear division so in this case also nuclear division is there undergoes nuclear divisions which is followed by cytokinesis followed by cytokinesis means in this case both karyokinesis also there and cytokinesis means not only the nucleus divides like this but here the nucleus divides along with the cytoplasm also divides and the separate cell mass is formed so here endosperm development occurs in cellular form so endosperm development occurs in cellular form right from beginning सो इत का होता न्यूक्लियस पिवाइड होता है तरह साइटोप्लाजम पिवाइड होता है ये वेगवेगे पेशी तैयार होता है एक सेल मास आतमें तैयार होता एक्जाम्पल सीन इन डाइकॉट्स जे डाइकॉटिनस प्लांट्स आता मदल कस है सेल्युलर एंडोस्पम है एंड लास्ट वी आर गोइंग टू सी द हेलोबीएल एंडोस्पम नाउ सी दिस इज समॉट डिफरंट इन दिस हेलोबीएल endosperm the central nucleus is dividing and when it is dividing so here the central nucleus divides they move Now see, this is different from both the nuclear and cellular endosperm. So here you can see the central nucleus is divided. It has also formed a wall. So first, what happens here in this type? First division of primary endosperm nucleus. is followed by wall formation eta kay hota madhe wall tayar hoto then as a result the central cell the central cell is divided in large माइक्रोपाइलर एंड स्मॉल चलाजल चेम्बर सो हिर फर्स्ट ओनली वेन दिस इज डिवाइडिंग द पेन इज फॉर्म मीन्स दिस पेन what it is doing it forms one wall and the portion is separated into chalazal end and micropylar end that is chalazal chamber and micropylar chamber then in both these chambers this both chambers the further division i'm uh, sorry further development further development of endosperm occurs nuclear type of 
occurs nuclear type means here the central cell is dividing it forms one wall in between which divides this main cell in two parts that is the chalazal end and the micropylae and when one it is formed both these cells separately they follow the division like nuclear endosperm both the sections and so here this intermediate type intermediate type which is common in helobia helobial series of monocots so the cell central cell divides first it into two equal a uh, one bigger and one smaller part that is the chalazal end and the micropylae and then these two chambers they divide the nucleus means they divide by the method of the nuclear endosperm and this intermediate type it is seen in the monocots helobia series is found in the monocots so in this way study types of the seeds based on endosperm and types of endosperms based on the mode of the development that is nuclear cellular helobia it may come for distinguish between or it may come for describing also you have to write these points in your notebook and study i have given you separate notes for all i am mostly giving separate notes all of you write them in your notebook thank you